Welcome everybody to this episode of Fish and Grills. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Today's main ingredient is the Blue Dot Roy, also known as the Peacock Grouper. I'm gonna prep these two fishes into two, three dishes and make it all delicious. Okay, step one, chop up these guys' heads. Oh, holy thing is sharp. Holy crap, that was sharp. For our first dish, we're gonna go for a deep fried. So I'm gonna score it and get it ready for the next dish. I'm gonna flay both sides. I'm gonna make one side for steam and one side for tempura. Mustard cabbage. We're gonna make a nice bed. Okay, we've got our fillets right here. Next, we're gonna grate some ginger. Not a lot, not a little bit, just right. Nice sweet to the salty flavor, so that. Now what I wanna do with this fish, put a little bit of water inside. I'm gonna give it more of a steam rather than a bake. So when it steams, it cooks the fish right, nice and fresh. <laughs> Okay, while we're waiting for this to cook, stay tuned for this fun fish facts on the Blue Dot Roy, aka Peacock Grouper. <laughs> the Blue Dot Roy, also known as the Peacock Grouper, was introduced to Hawaii in 1950 as way to add variety to our Hawaiian reefs. And this fish has flourished considering there is no natural predators for them. Dominating the reef, having an appetite for any fish, it can fit anything in its big bass like mouth. With over 162, species of grouper known worldwide. There are only a few here reside here in Hawaii. We got the Blue Dot Roy or the Peacock Grouper. The Hawaiian sea bass is Hapu'upu. The Roy also having the name Celestial Grouper, which is brown covered in vibrant blue dots. One Blue Dot Roy can have ownership of up to six females. Visiting and protecting his family in his daily routine. These fish partner up with other predators, such as the eel, and the octopus. Sometimes they team up and share the catch. Eating up to 1% of his body weight each and every day. He's feeding on our fish and making a negative impact. The state record being held just over 10 pounds on the scale. These fish have soft, flaky meat. Known to have Sagatera along with other predators such as the Ulua, more eel and barracuda. They hold the Sagatera mostly in their belly and head areas and little to none in their body. Best prepared Chinese style, steamed, fried crispy, whatever you want. Tastes, tastes really good. And these fish should be on the target list for every fisherman. So everybody do your part, take this fish off the reef and add it to your next dinner. 
I hope you like our fun fish facts on fish and grills. Yeah. Okay, with this guy, we're gonna deep fry him. Here we go. First fish done. Make sure I tempura. No waste movements. Collars are always going. That golden brown. Look at that. Gold right there. About a few more minutes, should be good to go. Okay, yeah, mama, my last batch. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna use this oil, throw some garlic inside, and use this as a hot garlic oil to dump on our steamed fish in the oven right now. All right, we're back. The fish is done. We're gonna get rid of this garlic ready, put it in the hot oil, and put it all over the fish. As soon as our garlic turns golden brown, we're gonna dump that all over. And all that remnants from the fish we just fried, here we go. Here we go. All right, what we have here is our deep fried ones. For the smaller roys you catch, Garlic, salt, pepper, a little bit flour, deep fry it, crispy. And then for the bigger ones, fillet it, make some tempura. Then we have our steamed with mustard cabbage, onions, some poison sauce, oyster sauce, whole lot of ginger. Super crispy. Okay. First one, deep fried. <laughs> Mmm, that crunch, super soft on the inside, super tasty. Winners, next mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Tempura. Mmm, it's soft. Soft, flaky, very tasty. Shigo. Next, steamed. Let me switch this up. Mmm. <laughs> Full of flavor. Mm. Smells of cabbage, the onion, poison sauce. Taste that ginger right away. That oyster sauce. Mm. Let's go again. All right, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Hope you guys learned a thing or two about some Blue Dot Roy or some Peacock Grouper. Spearfish and eat at your own risk. Stay tuned for more content coming to you soon. <laughs> and thanks for watching another episode of Fish, Fish and, and Grills. Grills. And comment below on how you prepare your fish. <laughs>